Now this is to do with theories of evolution and we're going to look at two people, Darwin and Lamarck. And they were both trying to explain the same thing, which is that how that one species evolves into another species over a long period of time. And they were probably looking at the same kind of evidence, they were looking at fossil records, but their ideas are very different. Now, Darwin's idea of natural selection is discussed in another video, but in its essence, Darwin understood that if, for instance, um, I am tall and my partner's tall, then we're going to have um, tall offspring. And he understood, his, his idea had a genetic basis to it. What Lamarck said was this, he said that if I acquire characteristics throughout my lifetime, I will pass those characteristics on to my offspring. So for instance, if I go down the gym and I work out and I become really muscly, then my offspring will therefore be born muscly. And Lamarck's idea we now know to be wrong because he didn't understand the laws of genetics. You also need to know that Darwin's ideas initially were not accepted by many people and they were controversial because they were seen to conflict with the ideas of creationism which appeared in the Bible and other biblical books. The theory of natural selection is now widely accepted because it explains a wide range of observations. It's constantly being discussed by scientists and tested by scientists and since the discovery of DNA in the 1950s we now understand much more about genes and genetics.